the last football or soccer game as some of you will call it to be reviewed on the Nintendo 64 in this channel is a bit of an unusual one. First released as Michael Owen's World League Soccer in most of Europe, and yes there are some name variations in other countries, the actual game received mixed reviews and didn't quite hit the levels needed to overtake the King of N64 football games which was the International Superstar Soccer series. With football games being a notoriously tricky sell in North America, I can see why the game would have needed something truly unique to even muster up some minimal interest over there. So when the opportunity presented itself to change the game to reach a different audience, Silicon Dreams couldn't resist on doing something groundbreaking. Realising that Mia Hamm and Team USA had just won the Women's FIFA World Cup in 1999, there were to be some positive media attention on their accolades. So the studio set aside 12 weeks to adapt the game into the first women-only soccer game to hit the Western market. With support for up to four players, both international and North American women's teams to choose from, and basic camera and replay options, Mirham Soccer 64 actually went on to sell just over 40,000 copies, which was well above the publisher's modest expectations for the title. In terms of the gameplay, it's pretty much what you'd expect from a non-AAA sports title. It plays like a basic football game and the limited game modes make this feel like a distinctly stripped down affair. The biggest problem in the game though is the amount of glitches which are pretty frequent and when combined with the extremely poor AI, it rules the game out to pretty much everyone except those who may be picking up this as their very first football game. There are two control options which are standard and professional and the professional option was supposed to give you more freedom to perform moves and tricks but they're so fiddly to pull off it makes it pretty pointless to use that mode. I also found the controls to be far too unresponsive as sometimes it takes a good few seconds to react to the input that you've commanded. The overall frame rate when playing is more than acceptable. You won't get slowed down with multiple players on the screen, however the engine crumbles during set pieces like goal kicks, throw-ins and corners. I would suggest sticking with the standard camera in the game. If you choose any of the zoomed out options which show more of the stadium or the pitch, then the game does slow down further, so be warned of that. And realising that the motion captured models used in World League Soccer wouldn't work, the studio instead had to spend a huge amount of time hand animating the player models to give them a more realistic female motion. And this game really gets a distinct visual look on that behalf. I also felt that the physics were actually not too bad. The ball could have worked a little better and perhaps a little more especially when you look at the areas such as shooting and bumping into other players because that actually causes your player to lose motion and in some cases you can stumble. In terms of the game's audio, well it has some and that's if you listen carefully. The menu screens have a pretty generic piece of music which is the same loop with different tones. And the audio effects in the game are basic and really do little to add to the excitement. The game does feature commentary from women football icon Wendy Gebauer, who does a surprisingly good job of calling the games. Her delivery is concise to the point, and although her lines of dialogue are limited, it does a welcome job of injecting some sense of fun into the games. I believe that this may be in part due to the crowd noise which is so low it barely gets above a quiet murmur. With the sound department doing so much to take away from the big game feel, it was nice to see Wendy give the audio department some authenticity as well as credibility. So overall, Mia Ham Soccer 64, is it really worth picking up? Well, for most of you watching, I'd suggest a pass on this one. Most people should only need one or two football games in their collection, and if you do feel the same way, then I'd suggest that you go for ISS 2000 or 98, and probably FIFA 99 if that's you. A psychologist once said that the game was a good example of the wrong time and the wrong approach, and I could agree with this. When you consider the game was blatantly made to quickly capitalise and cash in on real life events, it never would have existed without it, then you can't really commend the studio for helping to promote the women's game. Saying that though, when you consider how many years it took FIFA to put women into their FIFA series, you could say that Silicon Dreams were pioneers, perhaps a little bit too early to do this. Either way though, the game fits a niche market for an unusual sports game fan, but for anyone not looking for a gender specific football game then this is one to miss. This also includes World League Soccer or whatever it's called where you live. And so for today's topic of conversation, I'd love to know your thoughts on women only sports games. Do you think we should by now be seeing more and more of this type of game, 
or do you still feel that women are already represented well enough in other titles? As always, sound off in the comment section down below, and until next time.